Here we are in the interior of the EQXX and what we can see is we have a fantastic display which goes from A to A pillar. This is the largest display we've ever had in a Mercedes-Benz. It's one consecutive display which is incredibly efficient thanks to 3,000 local dimming zones. You can really see that therefore the blacks are the blacks. When we go over to the left we can see our new Hey Mercedes avatar which now looks amazing thanks to our real-time game engine technology. The whole of the scene is one consecutive flight of the camera, first starting off in space, then zooming down into Earth, and in a second we'll see how we get to the street level, where again the maps are rendered in real time, and we have a live sun moving over the maps, then showing live shadows, live sun positioning, which reminds us that this car has solar panels on the roof, with which it is constantly connecting, collecting energy, and recharging the batteries. Um, another aspect is that because the maps are dynamically drawn, we can also filter them live. We can say, show me all four-star sushi restaurants, and then all the buildings would disappear, only leaving those highlights and points of interest we want to see. Let's bring up a AI use case, uh, the music use case, where I can, for instance, ask Mercedes, Mercedes, um, I would love to listen to some music, and here we can see how Mercedes then comes alive, comes onto the screen and answers me. I can actually hear the sound now coming through the inbuilt speakers inside of the seats, which are there um, so that they're extra efficient. I can feel them because of the haptic feedback. And because both driver and passenger both have their own sound zones, we can listen to what we want. But Mercedes is not just about entertainment, it's also about driving efficiently. So if we go to the eco use case, the first one, then we can actually see how uh, Mercedes also gives us feedback on our driving. We have this element here in the center. And in a minute, we'll see how a light appears above and below. And then in that way, it gives us feedback as to, okay, you are now allowed to drive a little faster or slow down a bit so that we can hit that optimum speed to achieve our goal and get to our destination. But at the same time, it should be on time and that we don't spend all day on the road.